Hey everybody, long time no see. How's it going? I know, it's been crazy. There's been all sorts of stuff going on. I don't even know where to start. Um, but I wanted to make a video about some of the stuff that I've been doing um, lately. Um, show you a bit of that. And then kind of talk a little bit about um, kind of what I think might be happening soon, if that makes sense. Zoe and I have got a lot of new books. And... We were, like, saving them for, like, a really awesome book haul video we were going to do. And then things got crowded in here um, during lockdown. And we were, like, packing them all away in different places. And to be honest with you, even though this place isn't that big, I don't know where all those books are. So um, we're going to have to um, dig around a bit if we're going to find those. Ain't that right, Suge? Yep. Boom. You heard it from the horse's mouth. But Zoe's making me watch a show right now that I think is kind of crap. But she's in love with it all of a sudden. No one um, and they That's were just right. they were just talking about a talking horse. So, um, I don't know. I don't even know what the show's called. What's it called? The Ranch. Wow, they really went... <laughs> Above and beyond for the title, didn't they? So apparently there's a show called The Ranch. Um, it's been on for like 10 seasons. I don't know. I just heard about it within the last day-ish. Um, Why did you hear about it? Because um, someone's accused of maybe rape and maybe manipulating someone's mind. And I'm like... Damn, like Sam Elliott has to rape anybody, am I right? Too far. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, um, this video is just going to be a little bit of stuff that's going on. So a lot of you knew about the end of everything. Indiegogo, I was pushing that as hard as I felt comfortable pushing it, um, and I've been posting stuff pretty regularly on my blog, or at my website, blog, whatever, at IHateMattWall.com, so if you ever feel like you miss me, you can go there. Um, I'm going to try to start being on here a little bit more regularly, um, just in all honesty, with everything that was going on, um, I found it very difficult to be able to come on here and talk about other things, if that makes sense. Um, I, I mean, as soon as I start talking about everything, I get all, like, weird and silent, so... Um, Let's not go that route. So, for the stuff, um, for those of you who used to pick this up, um, we have a new issue out finally, Weird Mask 24. And as you can see, the first thing you'll notice, yes, um, she's wearing a mask. She's abiding by the rules. Um, but her Weird Mask mask is not pink. It is black. I could make up some crazy story about why that is, but to be honest, my printer just is not wanting to print red right now. So, um, until that gets fixed or I get a new printer, we're going black and white, folks. Maybe there'll be like collector versions sometime. Maybe. Or maybe... Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, um... I was being nice there. That's oh, why. man. Hey, hey, sugar booger. I'm in the middle of a video here, and I just realized I'm not wearing my glasses. I'm not going to be able to read anything. Oh, my gosh. You are a saint. Tell me. 
That's better. I can see you guys now. Okay, so, um, Weird Mass, the spring 2020 issue, which didn't come out until practically summer. Um, we got stories by um, Soder Lucio, Mark Rennie, uh, Russ Bickerstaff, Red Charles, Jeff White, Michael D. Davis, Matt Spangler, Madison McSweeney, Booktube's own B.L. Kohler, and me. I have a story on here called... Um, northwest of the of 247 and the reason why i just stumbled on that is because the story is actually called northeast of 247 and in the table of contents i put northwest of 247 <sighs> being an editor is hard when you don't put any effort into making sure things aren't fucked up um so I apologize. So anyway, um, the Northeast of 247 is about this guy who um, keeps failing at suicide and decides he's just going to go out into the desert um, and die from dehydration and starvation. And then a spaceship lands and the um, inhabitants of said spaceship come out and talk to him. And so there you go. Um, and this zine is chocked full, I don't even know if that's the correct usage of that, of old ads reminding people how important it is to wear a mask during a pandemic. So it's quite, uh, topical three months ago, um, and now I guess since, at least in California, they have made that mandatory again, you know? Um, hey, stop spitting, everybody. Halt the epidemic. You know, fun stuff like that. Hey, Sorry. prevent disease. Um, so anyway, you could get that at weirdmask.com, um, or if you know how to get to my Etsy shop, you could get it there too. Um, I will have links down below. Um, so you don't have to, like, go hunting for all this stuff. <clears throat> then, um, also, the second issue of m -Zine came out. Also, um, a mask on the cover there. Uh, this is the poetry zine that I do, and I must say that I am so proud of this issue that I don't know what to do. Um, that sounds silly, I know, but, um... I've been having a hard time because there's a lot of stuff I want to read. And then when I read it, it does not live up to my expectations. And I get really upset about it. Um, and some of the submissions I got for this were okay. But some of the submissions, the stuff that made it in here, it's stuff that is so good that I it kind of inspired me to want to continue to do this because I was feeling super down, um, for a while. Um, and some of the stuff in here just really, really brought me up. Like, um, Holly day, Holly day is flipping amazing. Um, there's a bunch of Holly day stuff in here. Mark Rennie, Cedar Marie, um, Madison McSweeney, Joshua Daniel Taylor, um, I might screw up some of these names here. Cathal Gunning from Glasgow. Um, Connor Oricchio, or Oricchio and Lamont A. Turner. Um, there's just really crisp, wonderful stuff in here. Like, And I got three poems in here, too. Um, but just the stuff in here is so good. So um, I'll leave a link to this. If you like poetry, um, I would strongly recommend giving this a look because I think it's brilliant. Um, and finally, for those of you who have been living under a rock or just don't pay attention to me, which is fine too, um, the end of everything by me is here. It's in my hand. Um... Everyone who contributed to the Indiegogo, I believe, with the exception of two people, domestically, 
and all the international packages I don't know about yet, but um, everyone's got their stuff with those exceptions I just said. Um, I'm working on the audiobook now. Um, it's not going as wonderfully as I hoped, but um, I'm hoping I'll be able to get it done within the next couple weeks here. But, end of everything, it's, um, as Steve Donahue says, a slim volume of poetry. Um, all the issues, or issues, um, all the books are signed and numbered, and this is to somebody different. So, um, yeah, I didn't want you to see who that was. But there's like 40-some, um, over 40 poems, uh, 100 pages. Um, Zoe did the wonderful artwork on here. Um, I'm just super proud of this book. And this, too, is on my Etsy shop. It's limited to 125 copies. Every copy is signed and numbered. So you could get that there. Link will be down in the description below. Is there anything you would like to add, Shug? Well, my mouth full of she has her mouth for showered, so um, she doesn't have anything to add. So um, if you've missed me, let me know down below. If you've missed Zoe, let me know down below. I know that's what everyone's going to say. No one's going to say they missed this thing. Oh, crimey River. Crimey yeah, effing River. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have all been doing well and healthy and all that. Um, if this whole period of weirdness going on has been rough on you, um, let me know down below. If you're tired of hearing about all the stuff that's been going on, let me know down below, and we will have a little chit-chat about it. Oh, one more thing. For those of you who follow the Black Star Canyon page, um, we haven't been doing a whole lot on there because we haven't been doing a whole lot. A, I got hurt. Then um, there was lockdown and just a bunch of stuff made it weird. So, um, but we've been talking about uh, making sure we do at least some sort of update videos. And we've been living out here for over a year now, so we might want to do our We've Been Here a Year video and all that. So, um, be on the lookout for that kind of stuff if you follow the Black Star Homestead page. So other than that, I wish you all well, and so long, everybody.